Today I'm going to give you three pros and cons of drawing with graphite. Graphite is usually the first medium we use after crayons and color pencils. So it's no wonder most artists start with them. Let's start with the cons. Standard graphite pencils usually come in your standard number two pencils. The one annoying con is having to sharpen these pencils all the time constantly which can be a pain there are ways to prolong your sharp point by drawing on the edges and side of your pencil or you can buy a mechanical pencil but you don't have the versatility of the wooden pencils and uh, you know shading on its broad side of lead and that's a problem if you want to shade uh, larger areas uh, with a mechanical pencil you can't do that it's going to take so much longer and it just it's a different look choose wisely you can also get a sharpener or sharpen with an exacto knife make sure you sharpen away from yourself con two graphite opposed to charcoal gives a lot of shine if you build it up too much on your paper surface which means you have to be careful uh, of what value of leads that you you use as there are several values in leads from light to dark leads and if you fill your paper with the wrong lead value we're talking about the graphite value you'll have to live with the shine or a race and risk ruining your paper over time con three graphite pencils are limited in how dark they come uh, which means that they can only get so dark in value you're probably not ever going to get a very dark black with a graphite pencil Trust me, check it yourself. And you have to accept that you won't get to go as dark as you'll need to. But there is a workaround for this issue. If you accept that you have to use some charcoal in your graphite drawing, which I do. Um, that's how I get my deep blacks in all of my uh, black and white portraits, my graphite portraits. So it's kind of like a mixed media of graphite and charcoal. Charcoal is the best way to add the dark blacks in your drawing if you want to get the best results possible. Now let's talk about the pros of graphite. Pro one, affordability. Graphite pencils are usually an art tool everyone has in their home, and they're easily the most affordable art medium you can buy in general. If you have paper around, you can get to drawing as soon as possible. Pro two, graphite is a must art tool for beginner artists, especially if you'd eventually like to move to color. You have to learn your values, your grayscales from black to white effectively if you're going to use color effectively. Using your grayscale values is the first step to seeing your blacks and whites whites accurately. Pro 3. The cost of entry is free. The ease of using a pencil is what makes them so practical. Everyone knows how to use a pencil. It's something that doesn't even need to be taught. However, they can also be versatile in how you hold the pencil. If you want to get looseness, you'll want to use the overhand grip. If you want to get more control with your pencil, you use the basic grip. It takes five minutes to get these down and anyone can learn them immediately. It's really fun to mess around with these techniques and you'll find that they are necessary depending on your subject. It takes some time to draw well with them, but the feeling of running your pencil up and down on a slightly textured paper and listening to the ASMR is always satisfying. To close out this video, I want to express a few short thoughts on working with graphite. A lot of beginner artists rush to get to color, but I think they're selling themselves short by missing out on one of the best vessels of knowledge, which is drawing with graphite and acquiring a clear understanding of your grayscale values, as well as a appreciating the dial down tone black and white gives. There's no hiding behind loud colors. You have to concentrate on less in a black and white drawing or a grayscale drawing, which is values, the idea, and maybe composition. You have to learn all of these before you level up to colors. Now, can you try colors before? Of course, but I think you would be doing yourself a service by starting in black and white and getting your grayscale values stronger. The best way to get better at something is to get rid of those handicaps. This isn't about things needing to be hard, it's more about things needing to be easy. If you truly understand your grayscale values, you'll be able to use them more effectively and efficiently. I hope you allow yourself the chance to experience the joy of graphite. Those are pros and cons of graphite drawing. That's all I have for you today. I hope this finds you grabbing some paper and pencil and getting a sketch in today. See you in the next one.